Hey, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. Um, we are going to do a, uh, read a book called Build a Playground. It's, a three, it's about 3D shapes, uh, and it's by Jim Martin. Um, my name is Mrs. Proctor, and um, I will probably read this through two recordings so that you can take your time and also read it as well. You can stop the recording and go back and read some words yourself without me uh, talking. Uh, this is a nonfiction book. And if you remember from class, nonfiction means that it is real. Um, you notice that up here on the board, they have a table of contents. So the cool thing about nonfiction is you don't have to read one page, uh, one page after the other. You can kind of skip around and get the information that you need. Um, that they have a table of contents so you can turn to the page that you want. Um, they have a playground contest. There's finding 3D shapes, using designs, making designs, the final designs, and solving the problem. And of course, there's lots of index and answer key at the bottom. Right. So, <clears throat> first things first, when you have a nonfiction text, remember you learned in class that um, a nonfiction text actually has bold print. And it has real photographs that helps you know. And sometimes you'll see um, vocabulary as we're reading will actually be in bold print as well. All right. And so this particular one is called the Playground Contest. Um, the name of the school was called um, the Cook Street School. So I'm just going to read a little bit of it. And then um, as we go along, you're going to actually stop the video and read yourself. OK, the Cook Street school raised money for the new playground and the students, teachers, and parents all helped. They decided to have a contest for the new design. Now, if you notice this word design, and the decision of that is in a few minutes. Right. So we're going to go ahead and go to the next page. <clears throat> there are four classes <clears throat> that choose to play on classes. Starting about two dimensional shapes or flat shapes, slides or holes, and flat shapes the dimension and length. Now, if you notice here, here it is. And then we'll photograph the little diagram. This is the length of the window. And the arrow with the word. This we can do this. I just need to have a box or maybe test. So let's can read students learn about three dimensions. These shapes and they have inch length, width, and height. Right? So you think that we width, height, dimensional shape. Now, let's draw an arrow for the mouth. They're actually um, telling you what the difference is between a two-dimensional shape and a three-dimensional. Two-dimensional is flat. The three-dimensional is actually as if you see a ball sticks out. Right? Look at the objects below, and you can see that number one is actually two-dimensional. Now, I'm going to be quiet for a minute, and you find which ones were actually a three-dimensional shape. That's correct. Two and three were actually three dimensionals, and four and one were actually two dimensional shapes. All right, now I love this um, this book right here because it actually shows you how things that you see in, in your everyday life it, it involves having three D shapes. Now look at this wonderful playground right here. You guys have this. Um, 
um, the Granite MLK. You have a three-dimensional um, slide, and you might have a tower there. So the students learn that the shapes are easy to find, and they look at home, they visit a part to it, and they, they see. So that is your job today. You are going to look around your house and see if you can find some shapes sitting around your house that may be three-dimensional. Cylinder, cube, a rectangular prism. And this is a photograph of a cereal box. That's a rectangular because it's the shape of a rectangular prism. A cone, a pyramid, or a sphere. Remember, a sphere is round like the earth. It's not just a circle. It's three-dimensional. It has to pop out. Now it is your job to read, stop the video, um, when, and I want you to go ahead and read the next by yourself. And then we are going to talk on the next video about how to use these designs, um, how we're going to be using these designs. So go ahead and if I can move this up. All right, so you go ahead and starting with this, and then I'll see you in the next video, continue reading the book. Have a great day.